Hi everybody, this is Cindy with Twisted True Crime. How are y'all doing? This is part two of the science of polygraph tests and Wonder Woman. So, in addition, your ANS can also indicate lying. You are probably asking yourself, What the heck does Wonder Woman have to do with lying? What do Tammy Lee and Wonder Woman have in common? Let's look at the definition of lying. A liar is a person who tells lies. Our deceiver, fibber, perjurer, fabricator. Here's an example. Chris Watt, I do not know where they are. Passenger, I told him to rekindle the flame. Ronnie Watts, that girl was bipolar. Speaking of shenan. Those peanuts can't hurt anyone. His sister, Jamie. I'll send your wedding invitations for you. If you can't trust someone's word, who can you trust? Which brings us to William Marston. He is the psychologist who created the lie detector in 1915, otherwise known as the polygraph test. What does Dr. Marston have to do with Wonder Woman? He created the comic book character Wonder Woman. Her magic lasso can force people to tell the truth. Didn't know that until I researched. What are lie detectors? Do they really detect lies? It is now commonly known as the polygraph test. Polygraph meaning many writings. A typical polygraph test records your blood pressure, changes in your heart rate, your respiration or breathing, and the galvanic skin response, the GSR is recorded by electrodes on your hand, it measures skin conductance otherwise known as sweating. In reality, the polygraph is not a lie detector test. The device simply records general emotional arousal. It can't tell the difference between lying and fear. It can't tell the difference between lying and anxiety or excitement. Here is where Wonder Woman CBI polygraph expert Tammy Lee steps in. 
The polygraph operator detects lies by first asking a series of neutral, non-emotional questions. An example is your name, Chris Watts. Example, did you eat lunch today? These questions establish a baseline for normal emotional responses. Then the questions are ramped up a notch. Relevant questions begin, such as, did you murder your wife and children? Presumably, only a guilty person becomes emotional or anxious during these questions. As an alternative, sub subjects may be asked control questions. Designed to make almost anyone anxious. An example, have you ever stolen anything from your place of employment? Example, have you ever stolen anything from any job? Typically, such questions are presumably difficult to answer truthfully. With an unqualified no. In theory, these questions are designed to evoke doubt or misgivings. A skilled polygraph operator mixes relevant and control questions. Proponents of the lie detector claim it is 95% accurate. But inaccurate results have been used to incarcerate innocent people. In one study, self-inflicted pain and tranquilizing drugs and people who can lie without anxiety can throw off results of a polygraph test. The best advice? Do not try to deceive trained experts. Lie detector or polygraph results can be challenged in a court of law. Tammy Lee with the CBI is a modern day Wonder Woman. Watts, you turned my brain to jello in his April 9, 2019 prison confession. My advice, don't commit crime. Stay tuned for part three. We're Tammy Lee versus Watts. Please comment. Your voice matters a lot to me. And I appreciate your nice comments. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.